welcome to my creative chronic life and today I am back with a little flip through and I will be sharing my Aura Estelle health planner and here is my health planner here I do have a, a full flip through on my channel that I shared at the beginning of 2024 I showcased where I picked up everything and what I'm using And I'm using the Aura Estelle and Annie Plans B6 Complete Weekly Vertical and this is undated. And this is my setup. This pin I made myself and I also made this one myself too. This little charm. So let's get stuck in. The first thing I'm going to share is my monthly section here. And I use this kit from Had It Right Designs and I picked this kit up, well technically it was from the advent calendar um, of 2023 and this kit is called Spring Bloom, it had a matching journal kit, a functional kit, a full functional kit so I decided to um, use it here to just decorate my monthly and if you can see already by accident instead of because I was back planning I planned the month of April rather than the month of May but this calendar is for the month of May I know it's not going to be such a big deal I don't really mind and when it comes to May I can just back plan and I can plan April is fine I mean I do have um, some kind of solution that would lift up the sticker but I just think it's fine how it is so this kit that I've used here is the functional kit and it's called Spring Bloom and there are lots and lots of sheets. I do have a unboxing with me day to day adverts over on my channel and what I'll do is I'll link that for you. So if you want to look at the full exact kit called Spring Bloom you can have a look at what was available. I mean I'm not sure now if you'll be able to get these at the moment but I do know later on or maybe the following year that Hadrat Designs does usually share some of the kits and at the moment there's similar kits available on her website so all I did was I just used some of these deco items to decorate the bottom here got a little book some butterflies we've got a basket you know the little uh, bicycle a bunny rabbit and then a little bird nest a dress and I just love the way it looks because it's very simple. The date dots came in the functional um, in the functional kit, and these Monday to Sunday scripts are from Designing Life D. The little foiled kind of washi is from Josephine Bo Designs. It was actually a washi strip. I've got it here because I was just doing a little haul, and all I did was I just cut some of the pieces because I wasn't quite sure what colour to match with it. Um, but I just thought the holographic looks nice so I decided to go ahead and do that so that's my monthly section for the month of April sorry May <laughs> even I'm getting confused now and then here on the back end of the page we've got two pages here which are, again I've decorated with the washi strip and here I just like to keep track of any kind of apps that I've got related to my health so that could be my Fitbit app it could be my flow period app tracker it could be the Weight Watchers app just to know when the subscription is how much it costs I usually pay yearly for it anyway but I like to know when it's due and if, you know how much it costs each month and if I add anything else on so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn over and I'll just move this to the side here now this is my weekly health tracker this is where I track all the medications how many steps sleep so what we'll do is we'll start off with the left hand side and again I've just popped in some deco here and it says live life in full bloom we've got some welly boots with some flowers in there a little basket and these kind of corner not corner washes what they're called bottom washes I decided to put them each side of the page just to kind of decorate it and then in the kit you get like a full sheet of washi tape so I've used that as a header and then and then I use my Stedler, Stedler pigment liner in 0.1 millimeter and I just 
drew some lines here and then here are all the medications and things that I like to track and then each day I will just take off what I've completed and what I've not if I've not used it etc and then here at the bottom we have um, a tracker for steps so how many steps I do per day just to like to see how active I am because I obviously I'm in a wheelchair but I do move from like a few steps here and there so some days I have more movement some days I don't so overall I like to see how many steps I've completed just to keep kind of my muscles strong and then here I like to track my sleep if I've had anything between 5 and 13 hours which usually can be the case and then these little bob icons here are from Little Bloom Papery and I just cut it in half and I put half here and half there and then here on the right hand side we're going to start off here with my weight tracker. I track each week. Well, I should be. This will be my first week back fully. Um, last week, I just did a few days. I did fill it in, but not, not completely. So this week, I'm back on track. Here is my period tracker. And then here, this is how many days I plan. So what that means is if each day at night time, I can sit down and complete and take off, I will give myself a tick here. It just, each day I can fill in and tick off um, in my health planner, then I will give myself a tick. It just allows me to track how many days I'm doing it and how I can hold myself accountable. Here I write down one task throughout the week that I'd like to do in terms of keeping my area clean, be that my desk, be that my bedside table, be that something I need to do. So I will just mark down one thing and put that down. And then here is a new thing that I'd like to track is how many days in the week do I leave the house? Now, of course, being in a wheelchair is a little bit difficult. And, you know, with the weather as well, it's harder. So I do want to track that just to see if that affects my mood or, you know, if I'm okay or not. So that's what I'm tracking this week. And again, this little bob icon here is from Little Bloom Papery as this, this reading journal one. And then this cleaning bob icon also and as well as this half bob icon these come in like a freebie sheet and i just cut them off because i just think it's so cute and then this little um washi strip here is from designing life d was in a freebie and these weighing scales to the best of my knowledge are from hydrate designs could be wrong but i think they are and then we've got here a new thing which at the moment I've been really struggling with my blood pressure so the doctor has asked me to um, come off certain medication and then record what my blood pressure is like in the morning and in the evening and then after one week I go and hand it in to them and they can then follow it up so that's what I wanted to track here so just in case like I, though I need to look back at it I've already got it here in my book and then this little um, stethoscope is from Little Friendly Designs I did want to mention these little washi strips here and these dots are from the functional kit with Hadrite Designs and these little boxes here, transparent ones, are from Little Bloom Papery and then again I've used half of a washi strip here and half of a washi strip there just to kind of keep it as a header and then here these little arrow boxes are from the functional kit so I just track Monday to Sunday and then here I again have used a washi strip with the date dots here with little dots here and this little washi is from Little Bloom Papery and this little um, kind of bubble bath bob is from Little Bloom Papery and this is to mark down how many days I do my skincare be it morning or evening as long as I get it done once a day I take the time I'm, I'm good to mark it off and then here I am tracking caffeine how many cups of tea I have or coffee or anything else caffeine related then I'll just mark down here now sometimes if it's just one I'll just take it off if it's more than one I like to um, register like four cups two cups etc and then here at the bottom I have just got a window scene these little donuts with a knife and fork a basket and then we've got this little bicycle scene as well and these are from all from the kit this coffee bob icon is from Little Bloom Papery. And I think that's it. Oh, and the plan here is from um, Planable Stickers. 
So let's turn over. Now, this is what my week is looking like. So first off, I'll start off with where things are from and then we'll go into the other details. So the weekday headers are from Little Bloom Papery, as are the transparent date dots. I got these in the Christmas advent and then these ones you can just pick up generically. This week's script is also from Little Bloom Papery and then these little squares and dots as well as the washi is all from Little Bloom Papery. You'll have to excuse me because my cat decided he wanted to join in. Hello darling. What do you find shiny? Hey? You wanted to say hello too? And then here we have a food bob icon. And then these floral items here are just the kind of floral deco which I've cut in half to make a border and then this pink kind of um, silver holographic washi is from the advent from Josephine Bow Designs and again this was a Christmas advent and then this washi tape is also from this little washi is from little no sorry yeah little bone papery so what I'll be tracking is my temperature each morning as I get out of bed and then what I've had for breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks and then my total carbs for the day if I want to track protein or fat etc um, just to kind of track what, what it looks like and then here at the bottom I like to write down the events that I've got this week just because then it allows me to see, oh, well, I was busy on this day because I had, I don't know, two hospital appointments. So that had a knock-on effect that evening or the next day. It just allows me to kind of be human and to make myself understand that if I've not really had a good week, it's okay because sometimes I might have run out of time and not been able to cook that evening. So if I picked up something quick and simple, that's okay which that might mean that my carbohydrate intake might be higher and then in turn probably my sugars the next day or might be a little bit higher or take longer to come down like just to help keep myself accountable but also understand that if things go wrong it's okay and then what I like to do what I like to do here at the end of the week is just to total all of the total carbohydrates I've had per week so obviously being a diabetic I get to have between 120 to 150 carbohydrates per week sorry per day um, but I like to stick to the 120 mark which makes it about 40 grams per meal which is really doable really I do also like to track in my Weight Watchers app as well and I like to do that because sometimes when you're traditionally counting carbs and then traditionally counting calories it, your weight loss isn't always there whereas when you're doing it combined with um, Weight Watchers you get your points, you get your weeklies and it doesn't feel as hard as it is doing it by yourself not only that being on the app you've got lots to kind of contend with, with um, recipes and you can track down your favourite recipes you can add things straight away, you can scan them as well if you're out and about, let's say at the supermarket and you, you've seen it's something that you'd like, you can track the points before you pick it up and also that gives you the kind of gram value per serving too which automatically then at the back of the packaging I can see what per 100 grams it would look like as well for carbohydrates so it just kind of gives me um, a, a space where I'm a little bit more in control but also that on the go is accessible there is a really wonderful community which I like to follow and you know we have chats and back and forth and it's a really supportive space to be in and I also like to watch um, watch Natasha Summer on YouTube and she shares a lot of her what I eat in a days and I think I just really really enjoy watching how she point values how sometimes like the rest of us she may not have a very good eating day especially like around the time of you know your period and I'm the same way this is the week that I'm actually technically meant to be due on so normally my eating habits change 
and just to be able to have a space to look back on now of course being completely transparent i only got into the second week of february in this health planner and then i had to have I had to go on bed rest and i kind of just fell off not gonna say fell off the wagon but like fell off really paying attention to it because i wasn't in a position to sit and do anything so i just stopped completely and i keep coming back to this health planner a because it allows me each week and each month to be able to change up and make it the fact that it's pretty helps me kind of want to come back and sit here and tick off there's something about lists and ticking things off isn't there and then here as well i have it on the app and then i have a carbs and cows app it's called from the nhs which again tells me how much how much it'll spike my blood sugar so I, i'm always like scanning and tracking on my phone and then if i want at the end of the day i can come back or at the end of the week i can come back so that's the plan how it is so far of course i've not planned ahead anything else um, because i'm only just starting off but i do have like the leftovers of the kit that i'm currently using and what i like to do is i like to just pop it inside of the health tracker and then when i've got five or ten minutes you can see here there are the date dots we've got the washies these are the weekday trackers sorry weekday headers and then again look we've got the washi tape and it's it's like a full page so what i like to do is cut them in half so the larger ones you can cut in three and then add use them as headers so what i would probably do is use all of this kit um to complete the entire month now i do have a full page journal kit which i'll just quickly share so you'll get an idea of what the functional kit looks like so here you've got the first page and I really love the colours in this, it's quite subtle so almost like we're in the month of May at the moment we are having some sun this week which will be really nice and then this is the second page kit and then this is like a deco sheet so the functional has all of these scenes in there you get lots of corner washi, you get your, you know, your bottom washi you get all these deco scenes, lots of floral items which is why I'm able to decorate the way I do so you can see here I mean at the beginning if we go back just a little you can see here that's how I was planning at the beginning of the year and I love this I love the way it looks I love the way it feels but at the moment unfortunately um, little blue and papery I am not sure if they're taking any custom orders at the moment because this was mostly from um, last year that i ordered and then some of this was custom and like these here like the feeling angry frustrated the feelings ones came in the advent christmas advent um so i've not actually been able to order any more so i thought i was kind of like forced to think out of the box i love how it looks i love you know the fact that all i've got to do is just draw the lines and i'm good to go but as well here the fact that like it didn't take me very long um, because I can use these washi strips here and then I just got to put a couple of lines down again here and it doesn't take me long to put down even with all the deco and everything else in reality I mean I think what took me the longest was just this little box here and that's because I decided to do the lines if I didn't do the lines and just did the columns I'd be fine sometimes like even in the past you can see that I've not bothered and I've just done um, here like you can see here I've not fully back planned so this is what it would look like so I try to switch it up each week depending on what my needs are like I've not put anything down for like total carbs or total calories obviously I've got skincare and then I've got my period my planning weight water sleep so some things I've kept the same like my feelings tracker I haven't done here and instead I've done clean and leave the house because I feel like that's more important and in turn if I wanted to all I have to do is really at the bottom I could just put down like mood and however I'm feeling here so it's very versatile and I love love the fact that each week or each month I can change it up and that I don't have to stick to the same thing now of course if I want to I can back plan but I don't think I'm going to I think I'm just going to leave it as it is and really concentrate on 
having the rest of this kind of month where I'm trying to get back on track and really try and use the remainder of this book. I think if I was to do this again next week or the week after, I think I would maybe add less of the deco and then have maybe a space where I could track some other things or maybe I would just do less deco here and then I could do a mood tracker maybe. We'll see how it goes. I might not need to have the blood pressure check in a few weeks time. So once that's removed, I can change and add there. And I like the fact that it's versatile and I can choose how I want to do it. Yes, it's sitting down and having to plan it out each week. But at the same time, all I've got to do is put a strip down and draw a couple of lines and I'm sorted. And I like the fact that it's undated as well. So I do have a full video on where I have picked everything up from and where all of the deco is from and where I have like this here I made myself and this charm I made myself. This is from Colour Cafe. Um, so there's a few bits and pieces where I know like the vellum and then we've got this little bookmark here. This is from Lanky Doll Studios and it says believe you can and you're halfway there. Now I know we've only got a couple of months till we're halfway to the you know year mark. I don't think I'm going to change this planner out. Um, I love the way it is. I love the feel of it. If anything, I might just track, um, change the monthly calendar. And these ones I made myself. I'll just show you. And it just allows me for like, if I don't have my phone with me or I just want to take this on the go, this here calendar just can show me what day we're on and the month calendar. So when I'm adding the date dots on the go, I can do that. So I just think maybe I might change this out. The rest of it, I'm going to keep exactly the same. Well, that's all we've got time for today. I hope you've enjoyed this kind of flip through, talk through of what my week is going to look like, what my week looks like. Now, if you'd like to look at how I plan, like kind of real life. So rather than talk through it, show you how I lay down my stickers, do let me know. And I'll be more than happy to show a video on how my thought process is and how I use the stickers that I have. So thank you all for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed. You can follow me over on TikTok, Instagram and threads up at My Creative Chronic Life. You can also follow me over on MCCL Book Talk over on TikTok. And you can also follow me on Facebook too. So there's lots of channels where you can send me a message or if you have any questions because I know some people don't like to use let's say Instagram or TikTok so there's always Instagram and Facebook available. You can also leave me a message underneath in the comments. And if you're not following me over on YouTube, please do think about subscribing because you'll receive notifications of any upcoming video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye bye.